In this video today, I'm going to be taking you from Harrah's to the Venetian in Las Vegas. I started my morning on the Las Vegas monorail, which takes you to the Harrah's link station. So you choose Harrah's. I'm going to be taking you today from, oh, for a walk through Harrah's. I'm going to be showing you all the restaurants, places to dine. We're going to be going through the casino. Then I'm going to be taking you out on the strip and we're going to be walking to the Venetian to show you how to get there. Here's a look at some dining and drink options and ice cream options before you enter Harrah's. This is between the monorail and Harrah's and is connected by an escalator. Like all my Las Vegas videos, this video would be best for someone that's new to Vegas and they really just don't know where to stay and they don't know where they're going, you know? So I'm going to show you how to get from point A to point B. Harrah's and the Venetian are right next door to each other. <laughs> that sounds really cool though, but the thing with next door is it's a hike. <laughs> it's pretty far. And a lot of hotels have like, you know, indoor walkways or even some places have trams, but this one in particular does not. So we're gonna be walking on the strip for a little bit. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Jennifer Sparks and I travel a lot. I mostly do resort tours and reviews and I like to give my honest opinion and show you when I'm walking around what I feel about this or that, how the atmosphere is, where it's located, that sort of thing. Walking around Harris, I feel it's okay. It's not that it's bad, it's just okay. It's not old enough where it's really cool and it's not new enough where it's really cool. It's kind of got that dated kind of thing going on. Very low ceilings. But it has these guys over here and a stellar location. The location is fantastic. Really mid-strip, right on the monorail, really great. Here's a little peek into the sports book. I have never actually went to a sports book before, but I see a lot of them. They look really cool. Have you ever stayed at Paris before? Let me know in the comments below how your stay was. I would love to hear about it. I get asked this question a lot. A lot of people say, hey, is you know, Vegas safe? Um, yeah, it's mostly safe. I mean, most people in Vegas are there to have a blast and, you know, but you know, you have to be careful, you know, I don't want to be scare anybody, but just watch your back, especially when you're on the strip, especially at night, um, but even in the resorts, you know, just, you know, if you're going to have a pocketbook, I, I always wear um, a crossbody bag, you know, something that's, you know, people can't steal stuff from you. I'm, I'm totally not trying to freak anybody out here. Traveling in groups is obviously the best. I travel solo, so like when I go out, you know, to keep myself safe, I don't have a fancy pocketbook. I, I don't want to draw any attention to myself. You know, jewelry, if you have any very fancy jewelry, you know, just be careful. Travel in groups. And also just remember, you know, the people that like might be the scariest may not look scary. Over here on the right hand side, we're passing Casino Royale, which is a very small casino. They had really fun games. I went in there, they had a special, if you spent $20, they give you $20 back to play with. So it was enticing to try. Uh, it was an interesting and I'm gonna be making a video of that in the future. Across the street from where we are now, you could find the Mirage, which I stayed at the first night I was in Vegas on my 10 day tour here. Very nice place. And also Treasure Island, I made a video about that as well. So you can look for those in my playlist. I will leave at the end of this video as well as the description below. And just like that, we're at the Venetian. This place is gorgeous. This is not gonna be about the Venetian. That is gonna be a separate video that I, I have a lot of editing to do. I spent a few hours there, so look for that in the future. I would have to say out of probably, I saw probably 30, 40 hotels this 10 days that I was here, the Venetian was probably my favorite. I really honestly didn't wanna leave. <laughs> I really loved it here. As you can see, it's gorgeous and very tranquil. Another uh, great thing about the Venetian is all the rooms are suites. There are no small rooms, there are no bad rooms. The Venetian and also the Palazzo. They're two separate hotels in the same sort of entity of this beautiful 
structure. I, it, it's just amazing that it's new. I mean, it looks, the architecture is just beautiful. back at Harris. We're going to be doing a walkthrough and we're going to go back to the monorail and I'm going to be going back to where I was staying at Westgate, which I will be having a video of that as well, which is also on the monorail line. Hold the handrail firmly at all times. Next stop northbound is Las Vegas Convention Center Station. If you are still here with me, you are the truest rock star. Thank you so much for watching. I'm heading back to the West Gate where I'm staying, and I'll be having a full video of that very soon as well. This is your host and your tour guide, Jennifer Sparks. I hope you get to go see Las Vegas. If you're on the fence about going, go. Have a good time. If nobody wants to go, with you, go alone. <laughs> Be well to yourself and kind to others and safe travels to you.